Welcome to Yukon Oil Fields reporting guide for the Torker Breakout Machine. Our flagship product is a completely customizable hydraulic driven breakout system with a comprehensive digital logger and reporting tool. This quick three minute tutorial will highlight how to set logging parameters on the touchscreen of your device, log a connection, then graph the results. The data logger requires a storage device for recording. Your Torker Breakout machine comes equipped to work with local and network storage with USB enabled by default for all new machines. To attach a USB memory stick, please find the USB jack located on the control panel. Simply plug in the device and you're ready to go. Make sure the memory stick has only a single drive letter and that the partition is formatted for use with Microsoft Windows devices. You'll now want to configure the basic settings for your tool. Touch any of the boxes to pop up an on-screen keyboard for editing the content. Make sure that when switching between tools and connections that you change at least one box to make sure log data is unique. A tool is recorded by name, serial number and tool number while the joint number is a marker for the connection on the same tool. To set the target torque for your on-screen gauge, tap Target Torque. Now you're ready to start logging. Click Reset Peak to restart the logger at zero torquing pressure. You can now head to the torque page and begin making your connection. Once all tools and connections are logged, we remove the USB stick and connect it to a computer with Yukon Reporter installed. This application is used to quickly select, graph, and print connections in your tool. Open the Yukon Reporter file. From here, under Work folder, click Select. Find the folder or drive your data is stored under and click OK. Now you'll see the connections and tools currently in that storage folder are displayed. Using the left mouse button, I'm going to choose which connections that I would like, as well as crop the left and right areas of my graphs and select on the motor which connections I'm going to be using and where they're located. You'll also note that by double-clicking one of the connections in the table, I can opt to not have that displayed in my report. Here I have three connections chosen in any order that I opted to use for the report when I'm ready. I now click Generate Report, and you'll see a summary page followed by three individual connections with the crop graphs ready for printing. Thank you for taking the time to view our presentation. For more information or technical support, please visit www.yukonoilfield.com.